The James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery, revealing a previously elusive, dusty, star-forming galaxy from the early universe. This finding challenges previous assumptions about galaxy prevalence and composition, shedding new light on the evolution of galaxies and the nature of the early universe. This dusty galaxy is a real monster in deep space, giving birth to hundreds of stars yearly. This galaxy named Aztec C-71, which formed roughly 900 million years after the Big Bang, was identified by University of Texas astronomers when they noticed this strange red blob in the telescope's data. This discovery, along with over a dozen other candidates in the first half of Cosmos Web data that have not yet been described in the scientific community, suggests that these galaxies, which were previously thought to be extremely rare in the early universe, may be three to ten times more common than expected. Join us today as we explore this mysterious galaxy in the early universe. An artist's impression of Aztec C-71 shows the ghostly object with two eyes and a large open mouth as if it was shrieking into the darkness, provides new insights into cosmic history and galaxy evolution while challenging previous assumptions about the distribution and evolution of galaxies. Although light has an incredible speed of about 300,000 kilometers per hour, the universe is so big that even light takes millions of years to reach us from very distant corners of space. And the fun thing is, the more we look farther into the universe, the more we look into the past. From ground-based telescopes, it first showed up as a bright blob, and in Hubble Space Telescope images, it completely disappeared. Now, in a photo taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, the spectral object has surfaced once more as a faint but distinct galaxy. The discovery could change our understanding of the early cosmos, since, according to what the galaxy has shown, massive star nurseries may be three to ten times more common than previously thought. This thing is a real monster, said Jed McKinney a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Texas at Austin. Researchers find it very interesting that even something so extreme can hardly be seen in the most sensitive images obtained with our newest telescope. It's potentially telling us there's a whole population of galaxies that have been hiding from us. Aztec C-71 was initially discovered by the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii, which was able to detect it in wavelengths. The object was then detected by another group, by the Cosmos Web Team in data taken with the higher spatial resolution, an infrared vision of the ALMA Telescope in Chile. This helped them to pinpoint the source's location, and when they examined the James Webb Space Telescope infrared data at 4.44 microns, they discovered a faint galaxy in the same area. It was invisible at light wavelengths shorter than 2.7 microns. Currently, the team is trying to find more of these faint galaxies using James Webb Telescope data. Studying the universe's oldest structures is one of the objectives. During James Webb's first year of operation, the team of over 50 researchers were given 250 hours of observing time. The first batch of data was received in December 2022, and additional data would be received until January 2024. A dusty star-forming galaxy is hard to see in optical light, because much of the light from its stars is absorbed by a veil of dust and then re-emitted at redder, or longer, wavelengths. Before James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers sometimes referred to them as Hubble Dark Galaxies, in reference to the previously most sensitive space telescope. Until now, Hubble's optical perspective has been the only method by which scientists have been able to observe galaxies in the early universe. This indicates that we are viewing mainly the clear, less dusty galaxies, which means our knowledge of the history of galaxy evolution is biased. 
Inspired by their results, the scientists are committed to carry out more investigations using the high sensitivity and ability to view both optical and infrared properties of the James Webb Space Telescope. They want to learn more about the early universe and find more of these elusive dim galaxies through their efforts. Aztec C-71 is believed to provide crucial insights about the complex processes that built the universe by shedding light on conditions that existed roughly 900 million years after the Big Bang, based on an estimated redshift. Since its launch, the James Webb Telescope has served as humanity's most advanced eye in the sky. The Hubble Space Telescope is still working and sending us images of the universe, but the addition of the James Webb Space Telescope has enabled us to view the universe in literally a new light. Scientists are shocked to find that galaxies appeared in our cosmic history far earlier than they ever imagined, as they peer deep into the distant history of the universe. Astronomers everywhere are excited and puzzled, by this galactic controversy. Using light to peer into the past, some of the earliest galaxies in our universe are also among the farthest galaxies that can be observed with a telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope can see them because it is picking up the faint light emitted by them. By the time light from these faraway reaches of the cosmos reaches the telescope, it is in the infrared spectrum and is thus invisible to the naked eye. The light visible to humans is just a fraction of the total range of light on the electromagnetic spectrum. This light has been traveling a long time by the time it reaches the telescope. For reference, it takes around eight minutes for light to travel from the sun to your eye. It takes light from Proxima Centauri, the sun's closest star, just more than four years to reach Earth. But why astronomers want to find early galaxies? The quest to find the earliest galaxies is very important for everyone. These galaxies could shed light on a key event in the universe's infancy called reionization. The Big Bang was the beginning. The universe kept expanding and cooling after that first catastrophic event. Once it cooled down enough, after roughly 372,000 years, Protons and electrons combined to form hydrogen atoms. That made the universe transparent to most light less energetic than a particular ultraviolet wavelength, including visible light for the first time. However, without stars, the universe remained dark and became what astronomers refer to as the Dark Ages. With the aid of an invisible and enigmatic substance known as dark matter, the first stars formed and started to cluster together into galaxies during these dark ages. Starlight started to fill the universe. Another thing eventually changed as well. Around 200 million years after the Big Bang, the cosmic veil blocking UV light, as well as more energetic X-rays and gamma rays, lifted as hydrogen atoms everywhere, now much more dispersed than they once were, lost their electrons. It is possible that electrons from atoms in the hydrogen gas in between galaxies were removed by light from the youngest, most massive stars in those early galaxies. Nevertheless, we don't know a lot about how that process actually works. James Webb Space Telescope can help fill in those details, taking a census of the galaxies that were around during the era of reionization could help illuminate how it got started. Our knowledge of galaxies and their role in the early universe has advanced significantly with the finding of this new, dusty galaxy. Scientists are excited about what new discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope may reveal as it continues to uncover hidden celestial treasures. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.